Welcome to Not Your Status Quo's trailer breakdown for Spider-Man Far From Home. Remember, if you like what you see, click the like button and uh, click the bell to be notified of future videos. And of course, subscribe to our channel. So as we all know, this is happening five minutes after the end of Endgame. So apparently they're very happy about everything. And as you can see, Aunt May seems to be pretty okay with Spider-Man being Spider-Man. She's using it to her advantage to help with her homeless shelter. And the reason we stopped here is it looks like that check from the Stark Foundation is signed, signed by Pepper Pot. So it looks like she is making it out of Endgame unscathed. It's good to see Happy again. Definitely. I like the awkwardness of this situation right here. Yeah. You know, we actually see uh, right here. The building behind is that um, Avengers Tower being rebuilt, and is it owned by? Who's it owned by? Who's doing the rebuilding? Yeah, we don't know that yet. Could it be Reed Richards and the Fantastic Four building out the Baxter Building? Probably not. Uh, more likely, uh, we know uh, Kevin Feige has wanted to get Norman Osborn into the MCU, so this could be the new Oscorp building. We could see the beginnings of it. Mm -hmm. being built out. Will we see Norman Osborn in Far From Home? Will we see a little Green Goblin? I don't think we'll see a Green Goblin. Maybe. But no. maybe. You no. never know. It could be a post-credit scene. You're could absolutely right. Now, then we're moving on here. That's an awesome tongue twister. That is great. He, he <laughs> says that line so well. But the reason we're stopping here with the August 10th circled is Amazing Fantasy number 15 was released August 10th, 1962, which was the first uh, appearance of Spider-Man in a comic. And we're moving on here. The reluctant superhero. We see here, you know, a lot of people were kind of dismayed that there was not a lot of references to Ben Parker in, or Uncle Ben, Uncle ben. in Spider-Man Homecoming. And we mm -hmm. do see at least his monogram on the suitcase that Peter is taking to Europe with him. Right, and why wouldn't we? And we see here, one of the big things here, we see in the background, ASM-212, which for those of you that don't know, Amazing Spider-Man number 212 was the first appearance of Hydro-Man. Right and here. there's the cover right there. That's, uh, to me, that's a tired joke. <laughs> you know, I liked it. She keeps getting him with the same thing because she knows he's kind of nervous yeah. being around her. All right, so we notice here, we think it's getting a little more intense. He turns around and it's... He says it's nice to finally meet you. Obviously, they don't meet in Endgame. So that's that's interesting to know. We know a little bit about Endgame now. And we also, he's here, but is he here as part of S.H.I.E.L.D.? Or is he possibly here like the Secret Warriors trying to get people together for a secret invasion like he did in the comics? I guess we'll have to wait until the movie. But that's they give us just enough to talk about, mm -hmm. but not spoiling anything. Love the Spider-Man theme right there. Yeah. You know, and a lot kind of happens up here. You know, we get a lot of glimpses of people. First off, is that Sandman? It's a Hydro Man on land. No, <laughs> not Hydro Man on land. It could be, I suppose, with cement. Then we see Molten Man possibly right there. You know, we see some people with guns. We see the stealth suit that we saw in the thing. And then we see a little glimpse of Hydro Man. Or... One of the elementals. We don't know yet. There's been talk of both. And then we get our first glimpse at Mysterio. And I want to pause here because what does that armor look like to you, Dave? Uh, it looks like it could be, well, alien maybe? Maybe Chitari maybe. armor. We know a lot of Homecoming had to do with the Vulture and the Tinkerer making stuff out of the Chitari tech. So maybe this is continuing that tradition. Maybe Michael Keaton got on the suit. We don't know. Yep. Michael Keaton is rumored to be in this movie, and I love this fight scene here. For one thing, we get it right about here. We're going to pause right there. Not only do we get the fishbowl 
on Mysterio. Mm -hmm. We also see what looks to be a little magic, kind of like what Doctor Strange uses in his movies. You know, we see the gang kind of sitting around seeing the Mysterio stuff on the thing. Mm -hmm. You know, great clothes. <laughs> I, yes, I do love that line. And I think <clears throat> one of the important things here, too, is in Mysterio's first appearance in the comics, he is pretending to be a hero by doing these illusions that he has to look like he's saving the day. And he's found out Spider Man ends up stopping him to save the day. And then he goes on to his life of crime. Is that what we're going to see in the movie? Or is Marvel going to throw something a little different? Maybe Mysterio is going to be a hero in this. You know, Jake Gyllenhaal is a pretty big actor. He could be an anti hero. He could be like, you know, Kind of a Loki type character, you know. You know, yeah, I, it'll, it served Loki well. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see what this all happens. Uh, July six. Great trailer. I mean, I really liked everything I saw in it. Things look great. I think we saw a lot more than I thought we were going to see from essentially what was the first look at this movie. You know, a lot of Mysterio, a lot of the villains, and didn't really spoil anything for Endgame that much, to be honest. Uh, you know, I know that these they always like to alter things a little bit to throw you off the set, but. I didn't really see anything that they would necessarily alter. Yeah, they show him a little bit out of order, like, you know, the jump at the beginning with the wings and, you know, he's flying. Of course, that's not going to be, you know, like, right at the beginning, of course. Who knows? Maybe it is. But, you know, they, they move things all around the movie. That yeah. little last comment at the end was pretty hilarious. Yeah, which they did change for the international trailer. He doesn't call him a dickwad, oh. which I guess they have stricter laws over there, but... 